Setting up a new RFN, you want to open up Tag Writer software. Make sure your COM port is showing your issuing unit COM port number and click RFN Setup. In this screen, you want to click on Scan and shake your RFN to initialize it. Okay, your RFN will then populate. Now what you want to do is select your RFN and change it to represent whichever pump you want to use it for. In this case, we're going to use it for pump one, so we'll relabel it unit number one and then click change. You'll get a prompt for the RFN successfully has been changed to the number you selected, which is one. Hit OK, and now you can exit. That's it for there. Next, you're going to want to open Artware. Select the site you're working on, and under Additional Options, open up the drop down box for non intervention and select AVI. Once you've selected AVI, save your site. Next, you're going to want to select which pump controller you're going to be working with. For this site, we're using DPC. Then click on the Pumps tab. Next, you're going to want to go to the AVI Advanced button. Now, here it'll show a list of all the possible RFN numbers you'll want to use. We're going to use number one since we've configured it with the Tag Writer software. And you'll want to input the RFN serial number in this field here. Select whether you'd like to use the pause or resume option. The pause resume option allows the user to stop fueling for a period of time and then continue to fuel again without closing the sale. Select your inactivity timeout. Typically we do 10 seconds or this is going to be user preference depending on what the user would like the pause time to be. If you have additional RFNs to configure, click on the RFN number and continue. But for now, we will just need to hit save. Once it's saved, you can hit OK. And now we can assign the RFN to pump 1. So select your pump 1 and assign the RFN number to each active product type. and click Save. Now your RFN is configured for Pump 1.